Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Now, it took three seasons. <laughs> three. To make it happen. Mm -hmm. But I finally sat down with the soulful, sexy singer, songwriter, Take. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the people say you talked about a lot of things, marriage, music, and so much more. We did. Well, we let's did. don't keep the people waiting. Let's don't. Take a look. <laughs> let's don't. Oh, my God. We're so excited to be graced. <laughs> Finally, with the presence of none other than Tank. <laughs> He's down here. He has on Sister Circle colors. Yes. He is participating yes. and being a part of the circle full today. Full out. Full out. We are happy to have you because you are a staple in our community and we love you. But before we talk about how much we love you, we have to talk about how much we love your wife. That's Zena, good. we love that her. Helps, Shout yeah. out to Zena. Shout out to Zena. So how has it been being a married man? I know you guys were together for a long time before that, but um, is it different being married as opposed to not? Um, I don't want to disappoint everybody and, and say, and say no. It <laughs> <laughs> so you have to and tell your truth. I, 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 I didn't want it to be different. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like we were, we were gotten back together for like, you know, three years. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, once once we figured out that you know the next step was um the way to go i didn't want things to change because i felt like the dynamic of what we had was just so awesome mm -hmm. like let's just have a cool ceremony let's dance and drink some champagne and go on a trip and then and, and then continue excuse, business right. as usual you know what i'm <laughs> right. saying mm -hmm. um the space that you go into wanting to marry a person has to continue yeah that, so the friendship and the, all of that, all, all of, that of the has good to pieces. Just continue. Yeah, don't yes. don't overdo it on the other side of the broom. Well, you've always been, you know, very um, strategic in how you talk about love and sex. Mm -hmm. um, but do you think that being married has kind of enhanced the way that you approach your lyrics? Is she like a muse for that? She is. She's been she's been the catalyst for a few albums. You know what I Not mean? Not a few. <laughs> Some, all my some bad songs and uh, <laughs> some good songs. We've been through a lot, you know. I mean, you're not uh, yeah, we've been through a lot. Um, but I think, um, you know, me, what, my music is my music is really, it's really my life. Mm -hmm. And so she's she's made it to a few subject matters. So you just always feel like having a good time and making love and just loving on the people. I think I, I mean I think making love. <laughs> Because um, you have and, a good time and, with these and songs. Sex, sexuality, sensuality. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important. Mm -hmm. It's very important. That 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 piece of the relationship is, you know, we need that. It's a very key component. Very key component. Like people feel like this. You know, I don't know who anybody. <laughs> I don't know how anybody can say. I mean, sex ain't everything. Yes, it is. Oh, well then, there's that. Yeah. Let's switch Squeezy. gears then. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go to your evolution. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so when you look at how you've had to kind of, and I, and I don't like to use the word fight too much because um, that would make it seem like, you know, it's, it's been dreadful mm -hmm. because, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times we're in the industry, it's hard, yeah, but it's hard for everybody. So when you, when you look at your progression in the industry and mm -hmm. the things that you've had to go through, what was and has continued to be your personal strategy for success, even through all your ups and downs? Um, I think we... We decided that we were just gonna do it our way. I can live with, you know, I did it my way. I gave it a thousand percent of everything that I had. Mm -hmm. These were my ideas. This was from my heart and soul, yep. my blood, sweat, and tears. And they loved it or they didn't. And it is what it is. And it is what it is. And then you evolved into a group. And it was called TGT, right. which we all know and love. Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts on groups? You know, we used to see them back in the day, like, Right. Tons of them. Bingo. But we don't really see that anymore. And you guys came together already successful and really did like like turned up. What was probably the, the most gratifying thing that you took away from that experience? Um, I think just the fact that we got it done. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I mean, because you have to think about, like you said, like you have you have, you know, 20 some years on this side, yeah. 20 years on this side, 20 mm -hmm. years on this side mm -hmm. of everybody who's figured out their science and their magic and they mm -hmm. go about things their way, yeah. their teams, you know what I'm saying? They're the alphas and mm -hmm. now you have to somehow bring all three of these alphas together yes. and figure out a common ground to get everything done from the business all the way to the music. Right. You know what I mean? It was a tough process. Okay. And so, so now when we look at groups now, uh -huh. 
um, it's a tough process, but it's, but it's also an expensive process. Mm -hmm. And so now that everybody's counting coins. every analytic, yeah. you know what I mean, that goes with every coin yes. with the analytic, mm -hmm. um, the group thing is a tough call. Do you think that the indie world kind of contributed to that? When you're talking about R&B music, which isn't for us in the urban world, mm -hmm. it isn't the top seller. Mm -hmm. You know, so from a label standpoint, from a business standpoint, they got to get the most, you know, out of what yeah. they're investing in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so the group thing just kind of doesn't look like a great investment. Because if you lose, you lose times three versus just losing times, times one. one. That's true, too. You know, so I just think that, you know, when hip hop, you know, came in and then they started singing melody and, mm -hmm. you know. The people just said, we'll, we'll take it. Kind of sliding into <laughs> our spot. They just said, we'll take it. Singing badly. Yeah, Drake said, uh, look here, I'm going to sing, too. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sing, too. Uh, they just kind of, you know, they just kind of stole a little space from us. They did. That, like you said, the word fight is a tough word, but that we're trying to still fighting to get back. Yeah. This is true. Well, they, let them have it. If they wanted to sing terrible down to their hood, <laughs> let them do their thing. Now, then we can put some auto tune and some melodyne on it. Yeah, about your yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think the opportunity should be fair. Yeah. Like if 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 as a radio station, you're going to give him an opportunity in the top 10 to sing bad, you should give me an opportunity in the top 10 to sing good. Now, now you didn't say it something. That is a very good so, point. I didn't even think about it. I just think way. it, you know, I just think it should be a little fair. Just a little bit balanced, but it's not. Boy, <laughs> my God, today. <laughs> well, you know, his album, Elevation, is available on digital streaming platforms, and it is Latish. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You can also catch him on the Sketchbook Tour with R&B greats Fantasia, Robin Thicke, and Ooh. Bonfire. So Ooh, be sure to check out his one. IG to find out when he's coming to your city. Don't yeah. forget the conversations always continue at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. So if you're staying with us, you're going to get some more. How about it? Some more tank. Some, some more tank. Is Ooh, this, is, is he going to have his have shirt off again? I think so. Oh, okay. That's a fine brother. <laughs> he, he got it all going on. When well, you can wear pink, you win it. And turn up, you won. Yes. <laughs> and turn up like that. And his shoes was pink. Right. Go pre order my album. Set the links in. Set the links in. Set the links in my bio. Bio. To my bio. Oh, oh. It is. It's in my bio, bio, oh, 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 oh. And we're back with Lenny Williams, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Tank. Uh, oh, 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 and oh, oh, oh. And oh. Okay, yeah. look here, man. Based <laughs> on the results of all your other albums, I'm mm. sure Elevation, mm -hmm. which is your new album, is going to be amazing. Can you talk to us a little bit about what this album is bringing? Obviously, some form of evolution, but what um, were you trying to... Continued growth. Continued growth. Looking at where I've been and what I've done and saying, how can I be better? Looking mm. myself in the mirror and having that tough conversation, like, okay, you got to work on that. You right. know what I mean? You got to put this together and you can do this better. You can say this better. You can write this better. You can sing this better. I think that if you're honest with who you are and your own personal growth and it reflects in your music, then it'll make sense to the people who follow you, to the people who are listening to you, to yeah. the people who look to you for whatever it is. You have been down to the social media turning up. How important do you think it is, first of all, to use social media, not just in a music way, but just to give your personality to your fans? People have bought into the idea of just wanting to know you. Yes. Wanting you to be human. It was necessary for me, you know, because I only had pictures with me like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So nobody really, nobody knew that you were this what nice, I was. Fun guy, you know right? what I'm saying? Like nobody, I would come around, people would be cracking jokes, and then they'd be like, this, you're different. Right. I'm like, yes. I'm like, no, I'm always like this. And so I found that um, the more people got to know me, um, the more reasons I gave them to to buy in. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just about music, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was about, oh, he goes to the gym, he works out, I love that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get his out. I'm going to get his out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to listen to it, you know what I'm saying? 
it's all those different components that just become that you know the music ultimately becomes a byproduct but it's all of those things that become attractive yeah. to just different kinds of people yeah and and one of the things that's cool too is that we get to see you as a father and a husband mm -hmm. and and now as an activist because of you know your views that you have about police brutality mm -hmm. um, and, and just all of the inequalities that are going on with our people where do you think that the responsibility lies as far as activism when it comes to artists I think it, it is a choice you know I can't t I can't say that it's every artist you know every artist's responsibility to say something or to do something mm -hmm. because that's just that might not be where they right. are but for me that's that this this is how I feel mm -hmm. you know I feel like I need to say something, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, for the people who are with me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, this is how I feel, that ain't right, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I could lose some friends over it, I could lose some money over it, I could lose whatever over it, mm -hmm. and if you agree, we agree, if you don't, let's, let's get in the comments and go at it, let's talk right, about right, it, let's, let's do yeah. something, got my thumb, my, I've been, I've, my thumb ups is crazy, it's I did like a thousand yesterday, yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy, let's, let's get into this, you know what I mean? <laughs> You, you wear so many hats. Comedian, obviously, is yeah. one of them. But it's clearly your path. Yes, <laughs> now, first of all, how did you get into comedy? And what made you make a conscious choice? Like, I'm going to get up here and do stand-up. Like, what was, the, what was that day like? Years ago, Chris Spencer, who I think is one of the most, I mean, genius comedic funny. minds. I've, I've, I mean, the guy's like, I mean, he's, he's royalty. He's comedy royalty. He let me open for him one time here in Atlanta. Oh, wow. It was my first time ever going on stage and doing comedy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to open for you. He said, what? I said, yeah, let me open. He said, all right, get to the club. I'm like, I'm ready. He's like, what? I said, <laughs> he thought you were telling me story. Guess he didn't think I was right. <laughs> <laughs> He said, come outside. I said, what? He said, take, you got to do this right now. You got to start. I said, I got it. He said, no, you need to. I said, I got it. <laughs> and um, it was one of those nights where everything that could have went right, went right. And it gave me the confidence to say, okay, I can do it. So instead of just jumping on stages, I started um, implementing it into my shows. Uh -huh. So at the end of my show, I'll do like, you know, seven minutes of stand up. Right. I'll get on the piano, do some crowd work, you right. know what I mean? And just started developing the muscle, you know what I mean? And so this year, um, I said, you know what? Now it's time to just get on stage. No mm -hmm. music, no tank fans, no nothing, just in front of crowds who don't even know who I am mm -hmm. and say, and tell these jokes. Mm -hmm. You know, I really, I'm really out here just putting in the work. You mm -hmm. know, a good friend of mine, Cisco Duran, he's like, man, I think you're funny. He saw me on one of my first shows back. He's like, I'm moving around the country doing a bunch of shows, man. If you'd like to open, you know, you're wow. good. Wow. The rooms that I'm in with him are like, you know, they're real comedy rooms. They aren't mm -hmm. R&B rooms. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't get the sympathy tank laughs. Yeah, you know no. what I'm saying? Like they when I walk like, out on stage, yeah. <laughs> when I walk out on stage, they're like, give it up for tank. They're like, tank. Right. <laughs> All right. Tell a joke. You know what I mean? It's like that. So you've done everything. Singing, acting, now comedy. What is the one thing that you feel like you have left that you've not yet done that you want to do? I mean, and clearly you... You're down to the health and fitness because you, yeah, yeah. you well, got I mean, your muscle. You brought your yeah. muscles. It's a gun show as well. Yeah, it's, it's, a, circle. it's a little bit of a so situation. Brought... <laughs> Had a tough time putting this on, um, but we made it. Uh, <laughs> so we know you're in the health and fitness, but what is something that you have yet to accomplish that you want to do? I want to give somebody what I have. And I want to be able to say um, that person is amazing or that person is where they are because I helped a little bit. Mm. You know what I mean? I was able to um, sign this artist. I was able to sign this writer, this mm -hmm. producer. I was able to, um, you know, we were able to take R&B money and make dreams come true. Yeah. Um, the same way ours came true. Beautiful Yay. job. Thanks. That was awesome. So amazing. Guys. I just love Tank. I yes. just love him. Yeah. He's so real yes. and talented. It's yes. so nice to meet the two worlds come together. When the two worlds come together, when a person is down to earth, you can talk to him, and then there's extremely uber talented. Yes. So yes. I'm going to keep telling y'all. Uh-huh. Because you need to know that his album is in store. His yes. Elevation is a, it's available on all digital streaming platforms, and it is fire. Yes. Tank is also doing his thing on the Sketchbook Tour with Fantasia, Robin Thicke, and Bonfire. So follow what's happening on his IG for concert dates. Yes, God, honey.